And yet the Prime Minister is so weak. He can't even lift up this rock. All that muscle for nothing. But nah, you should not underestimate the rock. Okay. Thank you. And just when you thought that foreign criminals issue couldn't get any worse for the Albanese government. It's gonna get way worse. Well, it has. First, the government released 149 foreign criminals out into the community when the High Court only ruled they had to release one. That's just called science and mess. <laughs> it's just science, eh? <laughs> Mind blowing, isn't it? Just one. Second, the government was shamed into passing legislation to deal with this by the opposition when its initial inclination was to wash its hands of the seven murderers and 37 sex offenders, amongst others. Shame, shame, shame. And third, despite having that legislation, the government hasn't managed to keep a job at McDonald's with an IQ of 70. The government hasn't actually applied to lock up any of these potentially dangerous criminals. What could go wrong? Yet in yet another hitch, it turns out that those being prosecuted for breaching their visa conditions will now all get diarrhea and you get diarrhea and you get diarrhea. Everyone's getting diarrhea. <sighs> That's disgusting. Hope you're enjoying your breakfast, folks. It turns out that those being prosecuted for breaching their visa conditions will now all get off scot-free because of a problem with 2013 legislation passed under the Gillard government when Albanese was on the front bench, Tony Burke, Penny Wong, all of them, including this bloke, Brendan O'Connor, who was then the minister in charge. Now, funny about that, because early this morning, the Labor spinners spinner. tried to blame this latest stuff up on the Wasting decades piss fighting around at climate summits with non-binding emission targets while handing out subsidies to climate criminals, obstructing renewables and generally not giving a shit tried to blame this latest stuff up on the coalition. The Abbott government, in fact. Now, I can assure you, you'd be hard pressed to find any example of where Tony Abbott didn't do what was needed to protect Australians. This is a technical issue that goes back to, to the future. That goes back to 2013. The fact remains that this is an issue that had been on the books for more than a decade, since 2013, throughout, indeed, the former government's time. 2013 under Gillard, not 2013 under Rabbit. As Peter Dutton said today on this issue, the government's lurching from disaster to disaster. This issue was a technical issue and has now been resolved. And I want to reassure every member of the Australian community that this has not affected the constant supervision, the constant monitoring of everyone who was required to be released in this cohort. And yet the Prime Minister is so weak, he keeps that clown in the job and in doing so, puts all of us in the community at risk.